Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Rainbow Six Extraction. The game seems to run fine. Uh, it's an engine that uh, everybody knows. Um, it's not perfect right now. I saw a couple of like weird bug glitch and stuff like that. But still, it's running well. Um, we're going to start with the Windows optimization. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So the first one is the game mode. Right game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at on. Uh, it helps a lot with background tasks and stuff like that. You're going to make sure that all your resources will be concentrated to your game. The Xbox game bar, I really recommend to not using it. Still a lot, a lot of issue with like stuttering, crashes, even on Windows 11. So I don't recommend to use that. And for the capture, I recommend to put the recorded audio and the video at off. Um, another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So write graphic setting in your search. If you have a video card, NVIDIA 1000 series or more recent, uh, you, you will have this option. So you just like check it, restart your computer to make sure it's applied. And um, yeah, you can expect a nice 3 to 5% boost in your FPS uh, because it helped a lot with bottleneck, but only on cards like uh, 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060. If you have something mid range or IN, you will not see any difference in your FPS. I also recommend to uh, update your driver. So Radian, I uh, know Radian just like release a brand new driver for uh, Rainbow Six and uh, Nvidia pretty much the same thing. Um, super important with like big games like that. You will always have like a nice boost in your FPS and it will fix some glitch and crash and stuff like that. Also, if you have an Intel processor with an, an iGPU, uh, just go on their website. They have a like a dedicated GPU driver for your um, iGPU. A lot of people doesn't know that. And they just like update with the Windows search. Uh, so just like go on their website, download the latest version. Another thing that I recommend, it's the energy power plant. So right energy, go to power option. On desktop computer, you should not have any issue with this, but uh, I really recommend to go with balance or high performance. Uh, but on some laptop, when you plug and plug in the wall, sometimes it stay at power saver, even when you plug in the wall. So just make sure when you game on your laptop and you're, you're plugged in that you're running balance or high performance. One more thing, it will be my uh, all my guide on how to overclock GPU, CPU. I have also dedicated guide for uh, Radian GPU. Um, you can look at this. You can expect sometimes 5 to 15% boost in your FPS. But it really depends on your component, your thermal. So a lot of different variables for overclocking. So it's not for everyone. But you can still <laughs> go see my guide if you want to look at uh, how you can do that. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, let's go to video first. Uh, display mode, make sure that you're using full screen. I did a couple of tests with window and borderless and I was getting some weird stuttering in borderless. So that's why I recommend you go with full screen. For the resolution, I recommend your native resolution from your uh, monitor. So for me, it's 2K. If you have 1080p, go with 1080p. For your monitor, make sure that you're using the proper one. Refresh rate, super important to select your uh, amount of refresh rate. By default, me, the game was at 60. And I have a 170 hertz screen, so super important to look at this. Expect ratio, I just use auto. For me, it's 16 by 9. Uh, for the V-Sync, I disable the V-Sync because I'm using uh, FreeSync. So if you have FreeSync and G-Sync, just remove it. Make sure that you're staying in your uh, amount of hertz range for FreeSync. So I'm getting, uh, that's why I lock my FPS at 168. Uh, super important. But uh, if you don't have FreeSync and G-Sync, just it's question of preference. If you uh, put your VSync at on, you will add some input lag, but you will not have any tiering when you're playing the game. So it's really depend on your preference. Field of view. I'm using 71 of field of view. Uh, this field of view is in, it's a vertical field of view, so you can use a converter online. 71 equal to 103 uh, horizontal field of view. So this is pretty much, again, a question of preference. If you go higher, you will lose FPS. If you go lower, you will gain FPS because you will see less in front of you, less like stuff rendering. So this is pretty much it for the field of view. Uh, brightness, I'm not touching it. This one, that. And after that, 
graphics so the first one is resolution quality by default they will ask you to use dynamic at 25 percent to lock some kind of like target frame rate don't use that your uh, image quality will always like move and it's not great just use fix 100 you want like 100 render uh, quality so if you're playing 2k you're 2k if you're playing 1080p you're going 1080p after that Texture quality and filtering, those ones de really depend on the amount of VRAM that you have on your video card. And that's great because you have like a nice, um, they're showing you how many like VRAM that you have. Don't go at 100%, always like keep a 10% empty to make sure that, I don't know if you're watching a stream on a second screen or Windows have some tasks to run or whatever. Uh, always make sure that you have some space. Uh, I I've downloaded the HD texture, so that's why it it's using a, a nice amount of VRAM, but you see if I just go with very high, I'm going at 4 gigs. So really depend on your uh, video card. If you have 4 gig and more, you can definitely go with I. Uh, so look at this and just make sure that you're not going to I with this. Shadow quality, this one will give you a lot of FPS. This is pretty much the first one that you will need to touch to uh, look at your FPS. I really recommend to set a goal because in this game you have a lot of option between like ultra and ultra low. Uh, so uh, it really depends like if you have a 60 Hz screen, aim for 60. If you have like a 120, go with 120. But if I compare shadow quality ultra to ultra low, you can expect a nice 25% boost in your FPS. So that's a lot. But shadow quality at ultra low doesn't look good. So I really recommend to something between low and medium. You can expect a nice 15 to, by 12 to 15 percent boost in your FPS, but uh, you're keeping a nice image quality. For shading quality, I recommend I between I and medium. I saw like one percent difference, so that's why I recommend to go with I. Uh, reflection quality. This one, it's another one that will take a lot of resources on your computer and if you're getting some random drop when you're fighting and stuff like that it's probably because of reflection or effect quality so i recommend to go with low or medium for this one uh low npc for sure go with low level of detail quality i recommend medium or even high uh i want to mention in this game ultra is taking a lot of resources so even if you have like something I don't know, a 2070 uh, like I have on my other computer. Don't ex expect to run Ultra with a lot of FPS. Start everything at I and look at your FPS because Ultra is taking a lot of resources. But for level uh, quality, I recommend something like I for like uh, for a 2070. If you have like a mid-range computer, definitely you can play at medium. And if you have a low-end computer, go with low. Effect quality, this one, if you're getting a lot of drop when you're fighting, Go with something like very low or low. I know a lot of people don't really care about effect when they're playing shooters. Uh, so you can even go with ultra low. You will not gain a big amount of FPS. It's like 8%. But it's more like you will stabilize a lot your FPS when you're fighting. So again, question of preference. Me, I'm going with low. Anti-aliasing. This is more like... Um, Again, it's a question of preference. For me, anti-aliasing in this game, my game looked too blurry for me. So that's why I just remove it. Uh, so my image is more clearer. And also, I'm getting a lot of FPS with this. But I know a lot of people don't like like the jagged edge uh, when like line of kind of breaking uh, around the objects and stuff like that. So if you don't like that, go with FXA. You will have like a basic anti-aliasing. And you will have also a nice boost in your FPS. But for me, anti-aliasing will be at off. And the inclusion, I recommend SSBC. For sure, you can remove it and gain a nice 10% FPS if I compare the HBAO to off. But your game will look flat. So that's why I recommend a minimum of a million occlusion to SSBC. After that, sprawl quality, I recommend low or medium. Like, just do some testing. They're saying, like, uh, for example, medium high quality up to 5 meter from the camera. And low is low quality all the time. So this is a huge difference between medium and low. But at when you are at sprawl quality, honestly, with all the stuff that you already changed, you should be fine with your FPS. So for me, I'm going with medium at 5 meter. 
lens effect i don't like those effects in those kind of games so that's why i'm putting it off and i always i don't use depth of fill in any game i don't like that when i'm aiming uh so i'm putting this one at off but you will not gain any fps with this so this is pretty much my guide for Rainbow Six uh, Extraction. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.